Parenting is the toughest thing we have to do because there is no reference to parenting in the neighborhood. Urban Ventures' approach to parenting is educating moms and dads and what is the role of a parent. Most of the kids that we have in our program don't have two parents in their home. About 80% are in a single parent family. In my experience in prisons, when we would have those deep, deep discussions, I noticed the one thing absent was the love of a father. In the visiting room, dad wasn't there. On Fathering Day, cards didn't go out. Our community is void of fathers. Kids are growing up by either not knowing their father or their father not being there or their father being a jerk. We want to put the father back in touch with the kid and the family. The role of the father is to be a filter. And he filters the messages from the neighborhood into the family. And if you don't have a filter in the home, that kid is prey. If you've got a filter in the home, that kid can be developed. I've been coming to Urban Ventures for about four to five years. My kid's been coming for three years. It's a very positive place and when I had my kids, I met with Urban Ventures and just let me know I wasn't in it by myself and gave me some of the tools that I needed in life to have to raise my child. He learns to give back, you know, that's the most important thing. I share with my toys. You share your toys? Well, high five for that. Every kid wants to hear one thing. This is my son or this is my daughter, in whom I am well pleased. And if there's not a father that's there to say, this is my son, this is my daughter, in whom I'm well pleased, you're gonna find it someplace else, and it's gonna be disastrous. Academics, in the urban setting is one of the great challenges. Urban Ventures' approach to academics is helping individuals learn the value of education. So our first thing is to expand their vision, expand where their possibilities could be if they had a good education. You know, we took kids down in Cape Canaveral and saw the shuttle go off. Well, what would an astronaut have to do as far as education? Oh. Let's take them into some offices. Let's have them meet some CEOs. Mr. CEO, Ms. CEO, what did you have to do to get here? About the importance of education. Oh, education. Common theme here, kids, about education, right? When I moved into this neighborhood, there were seven schools. Today, there's two. That means our kids drive out by bus to all over the Twin Cities, and they come back to nothing at 3 o'clock. Urban Ventures Learning Lab is an after-school program for youth in grades first through eighth grade. They come here after their school day. These are kids that are typically coming from school that have not had a good day. Many of them are behind, and therefore it just doesn't feel good to be in school. So we do fun things too. We have the Kids Cafe where they can learn to cook and they always get a nutritional meal. So we make it fun, but it's very academically focused. What's happening today is the summer lab. We have a six-week summer program for kids that's all day long. So the morning includes reading and math curriculum to help keep them involved in those activities, to give them enrichment. And then in the afternoon, they have electives, and they get to pick from sewing and wood and drama and soccer and music and art and cooking and gardening. And they get to pick those activities to learn some skills and have some fun, and that's how they spend their day increasing that value that they have for education and giving them a reason, a goal, to really set that if they stay in school that perhaps they can achieve. We would like to see our kids relate to schools in such a way that we could create a conduit for career in our neighborhood. We could create a highway of hope that would take kids from preschool to post-secondary and be able to come back equipped leaders who can be transformational change agents. And when we came here, this was a donut hole. That is, the resources were on the outside, the suburbs. 
and there was a hole in the middle. And that donut hole was not a donut hole, it was a sinkhole. And so we would like to see in the future that sinkhole become an English muffin. And if we wanted to go one step further, how do we make the English muffin a Bismarck? Not by moving the people that are here out and regentrifying, but by taking the people that are here and building their capacity to make this once again a livable, sustainable, safe neighborhood. Growing up in South Minneapolis, which was a very dangerous and violent place to grow up in, in, in the, back in the 90s, Urban Venture Learning Lab has given me a safe place to enhance my skills in computers, which led to my four-year degree from the University of Minnesota, which gave me a career in the IT profession. Having an IT job and having a house and having a car, I improve the Urban Venture approach works. We need to continue this type of program to the rest of the kids in South Minneapolis so that they could have the same opportunities that I had. And I think any corporation that is not focusing on this is not only not doing the correct thing for the society, but is not investing in its own future. The future of the corporation comes from the employees that they will hire later on and for the people they will be selling to. If we don't educate these people and get these people jobs and start it when they're young, they won't be there to be employees and they won't be making money to be consumers either. And so it is in the vested self-interest of the corporation to make significant donations to facilities such as Urban Ventures. So we are standing in the gap for a lot of these kids and a lot of the fathers out there. We are trying to reclaim families here. 